Hey guys and welcome to the last video I'm going to do on this day. Um, the other haul, unhaul videos I will do another day, but I thought I'd do a haul video. So let's get started. I actually ended up getting quite a few books and that's only because um, having been going to the library as much as I've been going lately, they I did realize they have sales and they're like 50 cents and 25 cents and I was like, oh my gosh, I might as well get some of these books if they seem interesting enough. And so I did. <laughs> um, but first I'm going to start with one that I bought on Amazon last month, but I didn't get it until this month. And that is um, Storm Dancer. It's the Lotus War Book 1 by Jay Kristoff. And I did buy the second and third one. Those came before this one, which is funny. Um, but yeah, I got it finally. And look at that cover. I love the cover. My book came bent, though. I'm kind of sad. But that's okay. It's still really pretty on the front. So, And then... For the library books, I'm going to go through those in a little bit. But first, I want to go over a book that I got off a YouTube giveaway that I won. I will include the user's name down below so you guys can check out her channel. She's really nice and super sweet. And thank you so much for this book. Um, and that is Grist, Grist Mill Road. It's about a group of friends who um, haven't seen each other in a few years. I think it's like 25 years or something. And they meet up again and um, something had happened in the woods when they were younger and it's all about like going over what they they did back then it was something really bad that's all i remember let's see if i can read a little bit of the synopsis um so it says um 1982 and then it talks about three teenage friends that are bound together by a terrible crime and then it says 2008 and then it says um in New York City, living lives their younger selves never could have predicted, the three meet again with even more devastating results. What really happened in those woods 26 years ago? So it's like a mystery and I'm super excited to read this. I haven't had time to get to it, but I want to and it's definitely one that I want to read soon. So I'm super excited and I love the cover. I think it's beautiful. Um, so let's get on to the others that I bought. So another set that I bought off eBay or Amazon, I can't remember, um, is the Legend Trilogy in graphic novels. And I think I mentioned in a previous video, this is one of the series that I never got to finish. I do have all three, but I haven't read the last one. So I thought getting the graphic novel would be an easy way to get through it. I actually did read it, um, but I will have that in my wrap up. But I did read the last one in graphic novel, so I kind of know what happens already. I still want to read it in the full like novel version. Um, but with so many other books I have on my TBR, I don't know when I'll get around to that. This is a series I really enjoyed. I thought it was really good. It's not like Harry Potter Hunger Game good, but it's not just okay. So it's kind of in the middle. It's like really good. <laughs> um, so I really enjoyed it. And so I got these, which I think is really cool. I want to do like a reading of all three of these, um, one after the other. I think it'll be really fun. Um, but when I have time. And then I also bought another one on eBay. Uh, this one I know I bought on eBay. It's called The Lost Boy. It just looked really creepy and cool and interesting. Um, and I thought I would get it. It's a graphic novel as well. But I saw some of the graphics inside and they looked really cool. So I got this. I don't even know what it's about. But it looked interesting. So I got that. And then I was at the thrift store. And I bought this book and the reason I bought this book is because um, I love this author um, and um, she wrote a book that I read before and I really really loved it and I thought it would be really fun to read some of her other stories so the book I'm talking about that I loved was called Ella Enchanted and it's one of my favorite like middle grade books I think it's so funny and smart and cute and amazing they made it into a movie which was also really cute i really like that movie um so i can't wait to read these i think it'll just be kind of a fun read they look really cute and i can't wait to read them and then the next book i bought actually all of these are from the library right yeah okay the rest of the books are from the library there's quite a few so let's get started so the first book is ignite me because i thought i had the series I bought Restore Me, a signed copy of it, and I didn't realize I did not have the series, even though I've been wanting to read it for a really long time. And I saw this book on there, so I bought it. It cost me 50 cents. I know it's a library book, 
So it has this, and of course, it's going to have like stuff on the inside. But actually, it's in really good condition for being a library book, and as long as it's in good condition and readable, I'm happy. I took the plastic thing off, so it makes it look nicer. So I bought that. Um, I also bought this because it's by Holly Black, and I'm really excited to read it. So I'm curious about it. It looked interesting and different. I didn't take the plastic off of this one yet. It's called The, Col the Coldest Girl in Cold Town. It just sounded really interesting. I've never heard of it, so all I know is that it looks dark and interesting, and that's why I bought it, and it's by Holly Black, so I thought it would be fun. Another book I bought was The Crown of Midnight, and this book isn't in the best condition. It's pretty wobbly, but it's all there, and that's all that matters, and I wanted um, to have all the, hard all the hardcover ones, and this is one of the ones that I was missing, I'm missing two others that I need to get so that I can have all hardback and I think it'll just look nicer So I took the plastic off and yeah, I'm so happy they had this one at least and then I got some Dystopian sci-fi ones because I mean that's the stuff that I really love and So the first one is blackout and I don't know anything about this book I just know it's sci-fi ish and That is what called me so this is by Robinson Wells, and then I got this other one called The End Games, and it just looks like a fantasy one, uh, like a gaming fantasy kind of thing. Um, it says, in a world of monsters, there is no game over, and it just looks really cool. I love the cover, so I can't wait to read that. Um, another one that I got was, where is it? Uh, okay, now I can't find it. Oh, here it is. It's called Anomaly. It's by Krista McGee. It says, question, feel, believe. I don't know. It looks like one of those dystopian ones. That's why I got it. Uh, next one is called Variant, and it says, trust no one. And it just looked really cool. So there's that one. And the last one I got was called Chasing Shadows, and it's by Swati Avasti. I don't know, but it looks really cool and really fun. And I really want to read this. Um, and I think this one's like a graphic thingy, isn't it? If I remember correctly, like it has graphics in it. So I thought that was interesting. And it has little comic ones, if I remember. So it just looks really cool, and I can't wait to read this. So those are the books I got in my haul for May. <laughs> and um, I'm not expecting any other books. So that's it. Oh, actually, I am, I am expecting one more thing of books. But I'll probably be getting those in June. So I'll just do that as a june haul thing but yeah that's it for me i'm super excited with all the books i got and um i can't wait for next month to do another one so stay tuned for that and thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you guys next time bye